This, my friends, is Judge Dreadblue. He will judge you, and he will kill you. If you are, of course, guilty. But that's okay, because we're going to talk about him and how we can end up killing him before he ends up killing you. So the Dread Balloon is an extremely, extremely tough balloon, and the main reason why he's so darn tough is that he has a frickin' shield over here. I know, the shield's really, really ridiculous in the first place, because um, it takes a long time to take it down, and once you finally get it down to nothing, you're like, oh, that's fantastic, it's gone right... No! It jumps on back into existence. Pretty much every single time you start to hurt him, it just jumps back in, and you're gonna be extremely sad with yourself. So, beyond that, though, he also is immune to anything that is not lead popping power. And there's not that many good things that both pop Moabs and lead at the same time. They're kind of mutually exclusive. Even Moab Maulers are actually really, really bad against these boss balloons. So it's obviously very, very difficult to figure out what you're supposed to use against this guy. But there is one special thing, which, of course, you guys have been seeing as a... Uh, fairly normal thing to pop these boss balloons. It is the Spike Factories. He is the, by far, best tower in the game to pop these boss balloons. But now check this out. We've only hurt him one-fourth of his health so far, so he's got three-fourths of his health on top of those shields. It's going to be very, very difficult to take him down still. we got to pump this stuff out. So we're going to use overclocked Spike Factories over here. Yeah, the money's not that big of a deal for us. It's mostly about getting everything all set up. So we're going to overclock all these Spike Factories. Um... Upgrade them all up to 1-3 inside of the range of the Monkey Village. Once you get them inside of the range of the Monkey Village, though, they can pop the lead balloons, so you don't even have to spend that extra $900 or $800 on those red-hot spikes. And then, of course, spam those abilities, but only that half of his health. We have to do a ton of damage extremely quickly here, guys. Check this out. Spike factories up the wazoo on top of the technological terror, spamming over here, and we're going to be able to take down this dread balloon. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button. Shout out to Smurfblade for actually recording this video. Video, um, wouldn't have had this without him. And have a super duper delicious day.